Okay, guys, welcome to Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. And today I'm continuing my series of charcoal experiments, trying to find out which charcoal burns the longest. So we've got several that we burned, and I'm gonna present this data as quickly as possible because it is data, and data has a tendency to get boring. So with that, I'm gonna tell you the parameter. We burned three pounds of each one of the charcoals. We did it in a char griller acorn kamado. It's an inexpensive, but a highly efficient double steel wall kamado. The temperature is controlled with a Fireboard 2 Pro controller. And this controller, you plug in the temperature probe and then you plug in the fan and it controls the fan, which controls the temperature. This thing does all the work for you and it captures all the data. So that's what you're gonna be looking at today is the graphs that we captured using the Fireboard 2 Pro. And I have the smoking stone in place when I do this. I don't have a grill or anything else in there, just some indirect heat and I'm measuring the temperature right above that smoking stone. But when I put the three pounds of charcoal in, I put it directly opposite of the fan, and then I light it off on the leading edge at the front of the pile of the charcoal, and the fan blows the flame across the pile of charcoal. So that's the way we did it. That's how I get the most efficient burn out of it. And I measured the temperature. Time starts when it goes up to 200 degrees. Now. Hopefully we don't overshoot it because that's just wasting your BTUs. What we hope to do, get up to 250 degrees and stay there as long as possible. And then when it drops back down to 200, but I will go in there one time, open it up, and if there's anything left to pile it up and get that flame back above, or temperature back above 200, we do that. That's basically how we do it. And with that, we're gonna get in here and look at our graph. And we'll start with the worst, and then we'll go to first. Okay, as you can see, Ember's Charcoal Briquettes came in last, and that's got a time of 12 hours and 10 minutes. And after that, we came in with Kingsford Original Briquettes. 17 hours and 11 minutes. So there is five hours difference between the last place and next to the last place. So like I say, that embers, if you want and wondered about it, it's in a class by itself. Then I've got Royal Oak Lump. 19 hours and 56 minutes was the total burn time, but the adjusted time, and that's what we're interested in, is 18 hours and 23 minutes. I've got Royal Oak All Natural Hardwood Briquettes. Now you see that's got a pretty consistent burn on the graph right there. And that came in at 19 hours and three minutes. So that's a little bit longer, but it's really kind of still in that same class that we've been looking at. Okay, and then after that, we've got Franklin Barbecue Charcoal Briquettes and they came in with an adjusted time of 19 hours and 54 minutes. That made a very nice grab. Franklin Barbecue, uh, they're located in Austin, Texas. They're made from Texas Post Oak, but they are made in Mexico. Okay, moving on from there, we get to our original B&B &B competition oak charcoal brick. That's the first one that I burned, and it had just an absolutely perfect run. When the temperature finally decided to drop, it didn't quite might go below 200 and it came back up a little bit and that's what extended the burn time and it's 20 hours and 11 minutes and so that's what gave that the exceptional time now our top two you got B&B &B mesquite lump it had adjusted time of 23 and a half hours so that's a very good burn time and that is B&B &B mesquite lump and if you're interested the number one charcoal that I have tested is B&B &B Oak Lump. And that's got a burn time of 23 hours and 58 minutes. So that one kind of set itself apart. The graph's not as pretty as some of the others, but the burn time is what we were counting here in this experiment. So 23 hours, 58 minutes, almost a full 24 hours. One thing I want to emphasize is that I did all mine in an empty cooker. It was under control conditions. Can you expect to duplicate these burn times? No way. If 
you're cooking anything, if you cook a rack of ribs, that's gonna cut your burn time way down. Everything you're doing as far as cooking is gonna be reducing your burn times. But this information is just good to show how one charcoal can perform when compared to the other. I hope you liked the video. Hit that like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha,